Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos and today we are looking at finding positive and negative domains from a function. So we've done visual domains and range, we've done finding increasing and decreasing domains. Now we're going to look at positive and negative domains. Now remember domains is for the, the x, but as far as the positive or negative, we're looking at the y. So uh, make it making it very simple, if it's on top of the x-axis is positive and it's on the bottom of the x-axis is negative okay so up here is positive for the yellow and down here is green uh, for the negative here so let's take a look at a few examples all right here it says graph uh, the graph of y equals f of x is shown below find all values of x for which f of x is greater than zero Okay, so since we're talking about greater than zero, we're talking about positive. So the, everything up here is positive. So what we want to write is the interval from on this function from where it begins to be positive until it stops being positive. So what we're going to do is it begins being positive at zero and stops being positive at four. And we're only looking at the x axis here. So that's going to be from 0 to 4. So our interval is going to be in parentheses 0, 4. Close parentheses. All right, let's look at another one. All right, here it's saying f of x is less than 0. So less than 0 is negative. So we're looking at the bottom part of the graph, everything down here. So we want to look at the interval from here to here, which is from negative 3 to positive 1. So we write from negative 3 to positive 1. Okay, let's look at another one. All right, here f of x is less than 0, right? So we're looking at the interval that's in the bottom part, like the last question here. So less than zero, uh, everything that's negative. So from negative here, we're going from here up to negative three and from positive one on out, right? And it will keep going down the x-axis or it's coming in from the, the negative part of the x-axis. So we're gonna have an interval that involves infinity. So what we're gonna do it's everything going up to negative 3 and everything going out from positive 1 needs to be in our notation here. So what we're going to do is put negative infinity to negative 3. So that's negative infinity to negative 3 and then go from positive 1 out to positive infinity. And you'll put a U for OR there. All right, let's look at another one. This one is f of x is greater than zero. So everything that's positive in the top part of the graph here. So everything that's up here, so that's going to be going from negative four to zero right here. So that's what we put in our interval, negative four to zero. All right, let's look at one more here. All right, here we've got this shape here, and it says determine the domain for which uh, the following graph of f of x is positive. So this is to say f of x is greater than zero, but I just want to know the positive. So that's the top part of the graph up here. All right, so f of x is positive up there. So we're going from two, well, actually from infinity down to two, and then from six to infinity. So this is negative infinity to two, and then from 6 to positive infinity. So we're going to use an or on this one. So it's going to go from 2, uh, negative infinity to 2, or from positive 6 to positive infinity. And that's it. That is determining the domain of using positive and negative. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.